Hey everyone, good Sunday morning. Hopefully you're having a great day so far. Today it is going to be hot and humid. No surprises there, but we'll see a bit more cloud cover. Clouds actually streaming in from the Gulf of Mexico will help kind of cut down on the heat a little bit, but today we actually lose a good chance at cooling showers. So I think today we'll actually trend mostly dry, which will send our temperatures maybe into the low mid 90s and our feels like temperatures will jump right up into the triple digits. So it is going to feel probably hotter today than yesterday because of the lower opportunity, the less of a chance of cooling showers. Today we'll have some clouds in the mix with some small breaks of sunshine. Again, this afternoon our highs getting to the low 90s, but it's the heat index that really gets us feels like temperatures probably getting maybe above 108 degrees, possibly getting close to 110 112 this afternoon. So we'll be sweltering when you factor in the humidity. The air temperatures are actually pretty close to average, maybe a couple degrees above, but it's the humidity, the high dew points that make it feel so oppressively hot outside. So because of that reason, we have a heat advisory in effect today for much of the area highlighted in this orange color from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Our feels like temperatures today again pushing 110, maybe 111, 112. So if you will be out and about today, make sure you dress lightly. You stay cool and hydrated. You take it easy outdoors. If you are headed to the Essence Fest, make sure you just try not to overdo it today. Really all day long, it's going to be really hot. And like I was mentioning, not a lot of rain in the forecast for our Sunday, which is good for outdoor activities, but not good because it will be so hot and humid. And we'll start to see our winds pick up a little bit as a result of barrel off to our west and to our south. It's not not coming here, but as it gets a little bit closer to Texas, our winds will start to pick up a bit. It will be a little breezy, which will help with the heat. I think our winds coming mostly from the southeast today model not picking up on much. I think most of us seeing a dry Sunday with maybe a stray shower or storm, but again, not expecting much at all. Tomorrow also going to be breezy winds coming more from the south onshore winds. Tomorrow our rain chance is not that high either. It's still barrel off to our west. It provides a little bit less of a chance for rain, but I think tomorrow we'll see a few spotty showers and storms on our Monday hit or miss variety. But again, any storms that do set up like we've seen can give us those heavier downpours in a few spots. It's not until Tuesday we'll see I think more rain in the forecast. Tuesday looks like our wettest day as a result of some increasing tropical moisture associated with barrel. So Tuesday is going to be our day where we have some scattered storms and some heavier pockets of rain Tuesday. So speaking of barrel, let's check in on what's going on early on our Sunday morning. This is the 7 a.m. update. This is where it is now 220 miles southeast of Corpus Christi, producing wind gusts at 60 miles per hour or 70 miles per hour rather and sustained winds at 60. So sustained winds at 60 gusts at 70. It's moving to the northwest at 12 miles per hour. Now yesterday it was battling a lot of dry air and stronger wind shear, which has kept it at a tropical storm strength. It hasn't intensified, but today I think the dry air and the shear is going to relax and we'll get that chance to intensify back to a hurricane today. So it is going to be moving into Texas either late today or early Monday, and it will be making landfall probably as a category one hurricane. So Texas still expecting to see that category one hurricane late today, early on Monday, bringing those big impacts across Texas along the coastline and spreading across East Texas. And then as it moves inland, it will weaken with the land interaction and then it move all the way into the Great Lakes as it gets scooped up by this trough coming across the country. So not coming to New Orleans, not going to see any big impacts here, but check out the storm surge for Texas right along the central part of the coastline, four to six feet of surge for them, even three to five feet expected in Galveston Bay. The worst of the surge probably right in the central coastline area near Matagorda Bay and then closer to Corpus Christi three to five feet of surge, but they could see surge up to six feet in a few spots in Texas, so they'll be dealing with some some big issues from barrel later today through early this week. So that trough I was mentioning that's going to help take barrel to the northeast will help also sling that moisture into the New Orleans area on Tuesday, so that's when we probably see our best chance for rain kind of associated with barrel. Again, no big impacts for the New Orleans area. Thank God we get lucky. We avoid this one. And then again, it gets pulled off to the northeast. And then later in the week, we'll see more of a typical summertime pattern. High pressure will start to build in from the east over us and just keep us hot and humid with daily spotty storms. So here's a look at precision cast the graph model on what this will look like. So Landfall anywhere in that Matagorda Bay area, Victoria, Texas, Port Lavaca, but the big impact spreading eastward and closer to Houston. So from Corpus Christi to Houston, big impacts, heavy rain, strong winds, surge, flooding, dangerous beach hazards, of course. And then as it spreads and weakens to the northeast, 
that's when our rain chance goes up Tuesday. So here we go Tuesday. New Orleans area, southeastern Louisiana, South Mississippi, scattered storms Tuesday, maybe some heavier downpours. Make sure you definitely drive carefully if you get stuck in one of those storms, but nothing we can't handle for Tuesday. And then Wednesday, we might see some lingering rain chances, but they'll start to decrease by later in the week. So today and tomorrow, rain chance is not that high. With barrel off to our west, it's kind of robbing us of the energy for storm development. So mostly dry Sunday, not bad, but it's going to be really hot and humid. Tomorrow, a couple spotty storms possible. Not so much, though. Tuesday, though, that's our wettest day. Don't forget the rain gear before you head out the door. And then Wednesday, still keeping scattered storms in the mix. And then later in the week, Thursday, Friday through next Saturday, rain chance is getting a little closer to normal if not a little bit drier because we've got that high pressure building in, but still we'll have enough, enough moisture around that will fire off some storms. I think every afternoon, just like a regular July forecast, the second half of the week, even into next weekend. So that's what we have. Those rainfall totals for Texas, East Texas, five to seven inches. They could see more in a few spots. I think closer to Victoria, Texas, right along the coast where the eye is supposed to make landfall or the, the center of the storm is going to make landfall, of course in this region, probably up to maybe 10 plus inches of rain for them. So they'll be dealing with the flooding from the rain, plus the surge and the coastal flooding. So unfortunately, that's what they have in Texas. As for us, our rainfall totals in the New Orleans area, one to two inches of rain, most of it falling on Tuesday. Again, manageable amounts of rain for us. Here's a look at the wind gusts forecast for this early. Look at this. This is early in the morning, Monday, so late tonight, early tomorrow. Texas seeing the very strong winds, Port Lavaca and that Matagorda Bay area, very strong winds, but even seeing those tropical storm force winds spreading across Houston, getting into tomorrow. So big impacts for them, strong winds. And then as it moves to the northeast, we'll see those breezy conditions spreading across the lower Mississippi Valley. And also our winds will start to pick up. I think today might even get a little bit breezy at times, nothing, nothing crazy. And then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, also seeing those onshore winds breezy at times, especially at the coast will be windy right along our coastline, gusting up to 20, 25 miles per hour. Not such a terrible thing since it will be so hot and humid when it's breezy and it's so hot, at least it makes it feel a little bit better outside. So that's are indirect impacts locally in the New Orleans area, southeastern Louisiana, South Mississippi. This is what we have breezy weather expected today, slightly breezy winds will pick up. I think Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday, so it will be breezy the next several days through the middle of the week and then more rain is expected Tuesday. Scattered storms, maybe some heavier downpours in a few spots, almost like a regular summer day like we saw a couple days ago and with the onshore winds coming mostly from the south sustained over the next couple of days, we could see that minor coastal flooding. During the high tide cycle, we could see one to two feet above normal high tide for our southward facing shorelines. So that's something we'll be watching. And also rough marine conditions are expected in the Gulf through early this week. So choppy seas, rough seas. And that is really the extent of what we have for barrel in, in our area. So not a, not a huge concern for us, which is always a good thing. Here's that seven day forecast. Hot, humid today, especially heat advisory. We'll actually see mostly dry weather today. Clouds lingering around thanks to barrel. Actually, barrel sending us some cloud cover today, but we'll have breaks of sunshine. Mostly dry today, spotty storms tomorrow, hot and muggy tomorrow. And then Tuesday, rain chances will be the highest. Also, our temperatures will be only around 90 degrees with the clouds and the showers. It will be breezy early this week as a result of barrel as well. Also not a bad thing. And then the second half of the week, lower rain chances on tap, but the temperatures will be going back into the low to mid 90s. And you know what? All this week, of course, it'll feel like into the triple digits.